Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is What's My Gray Garage, and today we have a historical event here at What's My Gray Garage, the Coyote 3510. It's a KC 3510 with the HST transmission has now clicked 100 hours of service. That's right, we have 100 hours on the clock, and it is... An amazing machine. I'll tell you, I've treated this machine not well. Uh, as it's, uh, you know, they're not dozers. You know, they're a tractor. But I have a tendency to try to cut down everything with this. And, tr you know, do a lot of hard work with it. And I'll tell you, the Coyote is, uh, so far, it is standing up to be an outstanding tractor. I have had not any problems with it besides self-inflicted issues. Uh, I had a oil filter that I poked a hole in. I don't know how I did that. I must have ran over a rock. And I had the bucket quit working on me. And I found out that I had hit a sapling and it had knocked the um, oil, or not the oil, but the hydraulic lines loose. Just a hydraulic line loose over here on this connector. That's the only, diff that's the only thing with this I think it could use is a nice shield to protect these hydraulic lines. I don't know how they would do that where it wouldn't interfere uh, with the operation, but I think if they could put something here to cover these, that would be like the only thing I could recommend on this tractor. Um, it is a stout, good running, um, solid tractor. I don't, I don't know how, how else to say it. Um, it, they just make a good product. It's strong. It's, it does everything I've wanted it to do and then some. Like I said, I've brush hogged in some pretty really rough and terrible areas. And I'll show you. I'm like, I'm, I'm a brutal, brutal person when it comes to my equipment, unfortunately. Uh, I just did this today. I don't know exactly how that came loose or what happened, but something hit something and it threw this around a little bit. Luckily, I thought it was something more, more, uh, more damaging, but really it's just a missing bolt or two and I should be back in operation. But this is the uh, Titan uh, implement that I have on here, the Titan uh, brush hog. I think it's like a five foot br br brush hog with the, uh, with the slip clutch, not the um, shear pin. And this thing, I'll tell you what, I've put it through the ringer and this thing is an incredible machine. Uh, it cuts down almost anything and everything in its path. And uh, you don't have to worry about busting the shear pin. You just plow right through it and keep going. My problem with it is I, I've hit some stuff pretty heavy on it and busted up this the outer edge of it and dented it in. So when the, when the blade starts, uh, actually when it's slowing down, you'll hear it clicking because it's hitting the metal. So I, what I'm going to have to do is come in here and cut relief cuts and then hammer it out and then probably take grind this grind this down and run a like a one inch strap all the way like a you know a, a quarter inch or maybe three eighth strap all the way around the edge here and to give it a reinforcement so it doesn't bend so easy that's the only downside to this uh to this design is it just doesn't have any any reinforcement there so the metal bends pretty easily that's the only thing i'd recommend on that but uh incredible machine just absolutely uh does a great job i'm going to keep this video fairly short I, I i'd hate to keep saying the same thing over and over again and i've already done it a few times but if you're in the in the market for a tractor coyote's a good brand um a lot of times the dealers are really good they've got you know you'll have most sometimes you'll see them paired up with bobcat or uh other uh heavy equipment type um uh machinery and they're you know, find a dealer you like and, you know, check it out. I'm not saying that John Deere and Massey Ferguson and um, those tractors are, are bad. I just think that I got a better deal with the Coyote. Uh, I think they, 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 they just, you know, they, they want to make a name for themselves and they're out there trying to do it. They're not trying to live off their name from the past. And that's what you see with John Deere and Kubota and, Massey Ferguson. Matter of fact, I went into a Kubota dealer to buy a tractor, this size tractor. I walked in there and I asked, I, they, were, they were all sitting around eating lunch. And I said, uh, is there anyone that can help me? And they're like, yeah, when we're done with lunch. And I said, okay, good. And I walked out and I never went back. 
And uh, so that guy lost the sale of a tractor. So I went from actually wanting to get a Kubota and I went to the Coyote and I bought the Coyote instead because, you know, someone was being a jerk and thought their uh, lunch was more important. So they missed a sale. So good on them, right? Uh, anyways, if you liked the video, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, we will see you next time.